Hi, welcome to Jeff's musical car on a very early morning, and I have Chris Kirby with me. Thanks for coming along. Oh, thanks for having me. So is this one of the earliest uh, performances you've done? No, no, I've done much earlier. Yeah. It's just... Uh, Would that be it? you're up so late that it's early again, or...? Yeah, that's what's happening this time. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So I guess you enjoyed your time in Moncton, that's good. Yeah, it's great, you know, um, it's... Uh, well, as you know, this was a bit of a run with Matt Anderson, and it's always great playing with Matt, and uh, that's mm -hmm. kind of the reason why I was up a little bit late last night. <laughs> Um, it's a bad influence, that man. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to say we're misbehaving. It's just, you know, we stay up a little bit late. Yeah, you got a, you got a party on the road. So, uh, tell me a bit about this tour because you've you've been playing with Matt a while. So it's kind of cool that you're doing your own thing as well. Yeah, I've been with Matt since 2016, and he's been really supportive of me, um, which is you know, it's great. And he uh, he does what he can to sort of help me. Uh, Help me do me as well, which is so great. And yeah, I haven't put a record out in a very long time, seven years, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so, um, and Matt and other people are sort of helping me navigate what the, you know, what the new landscape looks like these days. Because, you know, a lot has changed since, oh, yeah. um, since I was, you know, a hardcore artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me a bit about that that transition, because you really you were always involved in music, more in the background, producing, writing. Um, right. Does Does it feel like now is the right time for you? Did, did it feel natural? Like okay, now is my time. It felt natural. Yeah. Um, it's it sort of felt like I had a lot of projects out in the world that that people were like listening to. Like I know, uh, quote the Raven. Uh, mm -hmm. People have been uh, people have been liking that. And, um, you know, a bunch of years ago, I did a Charlie Acord record. And, that did really well and um, yeah I just felt like there was enough stuff out there that I could say hey you might not remember me but I you know you've yeah, heard yeah. me all these years on these records so um, you know here I am again I still I still have my own songs too all right well continuing with that tell me about the song you're gonna play for me today uh, this song uh, has been the single um, you know uh, for uh, ahead of the ahead of the release of the album it's called Pot of Gold. Um, it's the only song on the album that I didn't write with somebody else. Okay. Um, and I, yeah, I, I, I don't know why. There's no real reason for that. This song <laughs> just is the just, way it happened. Oh, I, I think I think I find it hard to finish songs on my own these days because I got so used to co-writing <laughs> right. and, and working, you know, collaborating with people that I found um, it's really hard for me to finish work uh, on my own. But this one is an exception. And, uh, and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So yeah, that's, that's, a, that's why it lit. That's why it turned out to be the lead single. It's a great song, and I can't wait to hear the uh, Just Musical Car rendition. Let's, <laughs> let's do it. All right, here we go. Well, it might just be a red wine on the river in green, reaching at you, spinning a sermon through the scratches, but judging by those bumps on your thighs, your motor is fired up and running. Press my luck, push your buttons, ooh baby, you still got it, oh baby, I get excited, I get ahead of myself, your body is a rainbow, take me to your pot of gold, I can't help myself, your body It feels like, just like the first time When I was chocolate in your hands Melting through the cracks And I still melt for you Anytime you say you wanna Oh, oh baby I can't say it out loud Damn it, I'm down, baby You still got it Oh, baby I get excited oh, I get ahead of myself Your body is a rainbow Take me to your pot of gold I can't help myself Your body is a rainbow Take me to your pot of gold Now don't misunderstand Cause I'm not that kind of man I 
take your Not at 9.15 a.m. Holy moly. But we did it. We did it. I yeah. love it. Love it. So um, now that you've been kind of uh, progressing in your tours, get it going a little further away from home, what's that experience been like? Because you've been get, getting some pretty cool shows all over the world now. Yeah, yeah. It's been great. You know, um, when I when I met my now wife, mm -hmm. uh, I hadn't been touring for a little while. So it's been a new experience for her, but it's, you know, it's for, for me... Um, it's it's exciting as I'm getting back out there again, you know, and and mm -hmm. new doors are opening, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, and we're uh, we're learning to make the most of it, you know. I, the last time that I was really active with touring, I was a single guy, and now now I get to do things like plan, you know, plan vacations with my <laughs> wife sometimes around around tour dates. Like we did a we did a cruise uh, last year, and um, and wife came along and you know mm -hmm. and if we go to Toronto or something um, we tack on a couple of days and then oh, yeah, we hang out it's that part is it's way better than touring on, on your own <laughs> way better yeah. you know when when you're able to when you're able to add some fun time on the on the front or on the end of it mm -hmm. yeah, yeah and plus nowadays it's a lot easier to stay connected through Skype and yeah and uh, the internet just to kind of keep touch with your loved ones and yeah that's right I mean it yeah it, it's always it's always a struggle it's always it's always tough to not being there especially when you put so much work into you know home we have pets we have a lot of stuff on yeah. the go at the house uh, so you know it, it definitely sucks to be to be the one sort of left doing two people's work uh, f, you know for a couple of weeks um, but uh, like I said we make the we make the most of it and it takes a very special person to uh, to hold it down at home while someone's away, and uh, I, I have that. Uh, beautiful sentiment right yeah. there. As we're going into the end of summer, tell me about the, the full album, because you do have your single out, so when's the projected release date? Right, uh, well, it's gonna it's gonna be out kind of end of summer, early September. Mm -hmm. um, not 100% sure, it might surprise people. Uh, you know, limited physical copies are already available, so you know, if you catch me at a show or something, uh, then then you can uh, certainly score one of pick one up there, but it won't be released on all the platforms until until the end of the summer. Um, and I'm super pumped for it. I got a lot of big heroes on this album. You know, um, I literally went back to my roots to do it. I went went back to Newfoundland and worked with my brother. He recorded it, um, and I produced it. And my old band, the band that's been with me since the start, yeah. uh, they're they're the guys playing on this. Um, Lots of great special guests, including Sean Verreau from Widemouth Mason, Susie Vinnick, who's uh, just an incredible guitar player singer. Yeah. Uh, Ian James is on it. Ian Sherwood's on it. Charlie Acord's on it. Oof. Uh, All stars. Yeah, and you know what? These, like, the best part about this is, I mean, I moved to Halifax uh, a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just these guys were around. I was like, oh, you know what? I need this on this song. Just. You know, call Ian. Hey, yeah. are you home? Uh, you want to come up and uh, put some saxophone on this song? That's how it happened every time. Yeah. You know, so uh, depending on who who was home and who was on tour, um, I could have had a whole bunch of different guests. <laughs> yeah, Halifax is great for that. Though I've done 
um, interviews with a lot of these people and they they always say that they enjoy doing collaboration working with other yeah. artists and there's a real sense of community yeah it's a it's a great thing and you know no matter where you go there that community is there mm -hmm. uh, it's just for me and the music that I want to make and, and that kind of thing that I just have more like minds uh, in Halifax yeah, that, I, that I you know I had some like minds in Newfoundland and I still work with those people but uh, there just seems to be a little bit more uh, in Halifax right now at least and yeah I'm making the most of it that's great well I'm really excited to hear the rest of the album and uh, thanks for coming along oh thank you and so I guess that'll be it for this episode of Just Musical Car thanks for watching and we'll see you next time